Hi there. Um, so just a quick video really to show you some bits and bobs latest purchases. So um, actually, um, I'm quite excited about this. This has been a long time coming. It's kind of a Christmas present. It's the DJI Osmo Action Remote. And the, the camera you're viewing on right now is the Action 4 by DJI. Um, and this works with Action 4 cameras and it allows you to remote control them. So the great thing about that is that you can put this camera up at the top of the mast or if I'm doing something on the boat near to shore, we can control the camera from, you know, a certain range. Um, I don't know what range this has got. Normally these things have like 10 meters, don't they? Maybe 20 at best. So, but that is something, if it works, will be a massive boom because we can get more camera angles um, on the on the boat then, which would be really, really good. So I'll do a different review on this when we come to use it. Uh, these are proper fiberglassing brushes. I've got a whole pack of, is there 20 there? It might be 20 there. Um, but yeah, you just get through them like billion. I've got wider ones here as well, because I'm gonna do some bigger fiberglassing actually. So that'll be exciting. Uh, when we come to that, I'll let you know. Big experiment though, to be honest with you. So hopefully no more brush hairs in the fiberglass, because those other brushes I've got have been a nightmare. The other thing I bought is this. This is West Systems 655-K. Um, what it is, it's epoxy, um, but it's like, it's supposed to glue together PVC, hyperlob, things like that. So it's flexible. It can cope with being, you know, inflated and deflated. And I'm using, or I'm gonna use that for my uh, pack raft repair for, for tadpole because I can't find any glues that work. This I'm told is brilliant. Um, I've never had any reason to doubt West System stuff. I know some people say it's a bit expensive, but to be honest with you, I, honestly, uh, you for me, it's been, you get what you pay for. Um, I bought one of these, which is like a little mini kit, uh, like pre, you know, sort of mixes it for you. Um, and that was like 15 quid, but then I got this and it has two tubes, which are much bigger if you look at that. Um, and these are, comes with a little repair kit gloves and whatnot as well, for all that stuff. But this was like 20 odd pounds for all that. So much better worth it. But I thought I'd get this one just to give things a try. And also keep that on the boat as well. You know, you never quite know when that would come in uh, handy. The other thing I've got is some peel ply. <laughs> Now this one is 50 mil wide. I've got, I'm just looking at this one here, I've got 30 mil, I think that one is. And I've also got what looks like 15 mil wide. Um, I just needed wider stuff. It's really cheap, this stuff is actually, in the grand scheme of things. And I'm a real convert to peel ply. Um, when, especially when you're doing sort of larger areas, you stick this on and it just the finish you get is so good. Um, and it's only gonna get better as I get better with it. So got a roll of that. I think it was like 20 meters. I think this is like a quid a meter. It's something like that, but well worth it. Um, and the other thing I got was this. Now, it's a big, uh, big roll of this. It's 1.5 meters wide. I didn't realize that. Um, as usual, I bought too much. This is, uh, Oh, what do they call this now? But it's more of the floppier stuff. And it's got uh, fiberglass one way, fiberglass the other, and it's kind of sewn together. It's called biaxial cloth and it's 300 grams uh, thickness. To be honest with you, it seems a little bit stiff and thick. I don't know whether you, you could, I could have got a lower density, but it's supposed to be much better with getting into crevices and getting a better shape um, when you're sort of doing stuff. So I, you know, I've been watching a lot of videos where, you know, these on YouTube where people are sort of like laying this cloth, it just drapes over the whole hole. And I've really struggled with the chopped strand that I've got to do that. So we're giving this biaxial a go. Um, again, it'll all come clear in, in videos to come. But I've got a whole bunch of that, obviously a bit too much. I think this is about 100 quid's worth. And it's, about, I think it's 20 or 30 meters of it. Um, 
probably outlasts me. <laughs> but, you know, it's nice to have this stuff because now I've got the chop strand in various weights and I've got a little bit of this biaxial cloth, which is really good as well. Um, I did some fiberglassing work. It's not on video, unfortunately, but I did a bit of fiberglassing work last year where uh, I used the chop strand and it was just hopeless getting it to sit into the into the angles and the crevices of something I was trying to make. So this, I'm hoping, will will fit a lot more into things. So I've also just had a um, delivery from from uh, Force 4 Marine. And I've got a bit of a, well, mainly this is for the bilge pump that I think I've shown you before. So I've got some slightly smaller, I think that's 25 mil or three quarter inch hose um i've got an l bend which i think i might need i don't know yet i've got a matching uh, i think these are called skin fitting so these this one is exactly the same as the one i've already got for the manual bilge pump um there is there was a debate online about whether you should use the same um exit hole and flange fitting and hose for two bilge pumps um, I think really it's going to be, a, I can't see how I'm going to be able to get this tube to join the other bilge pump uh, and it not sort of start squirting in. I don't know. I don't know. We will go to the boat tomorrow probably and we'll have a good look at all of this, see what we can sort of work out. Um, it might be that we need to get a T-piece and we can join it up to the original flange fitting. Got some of these, some uh, Jubilee clips. These are super duper 316 and super duper quality actually. Uh, and then lastly, just got some of this. This is the same as my current Halyard ro uh, rope or line. Um, it's really good, it's, it's just really good. So it gets a little stiff when it's new, but when you've used it a little bit, it loosens up, but it allows me to get um, the, uh, it's allowed me to get the forestay a lot tighter on, on the uh, lugger. And this is designed for maybe, well, there's two reasons I've got this. Maybe I've got to replace the spinnaker halyard because I might want that to come back to the back of the cockpit. We'll talk about that in a later video. But the other reason is um, I'm hoping I can use that halyard for my gaff halyard. And otherwise I've got to use this. But this is really useful line. It's about the right thickness for everything. And I just think it was time to replace that halyard. Um, that I do find it's a pain getting it so thick, getting that halyard through that hole and it's just such a pain. So yeah, hopefully this will be a little bit better. Um, I also need some line for, you know, a Cunningham. Um, oh God, I've completely forgotten what else I need the line for now because I replaced the mizzen sheet. Uh, I think that's it actually. But I need, you always need a good sturdy line for spares. So there we go. Been spending money. Uh, so um, yeah, so tomorrow, I'm hoping we can get down to the boat and we uh, we just need it not to rain. It's gonna be really cold, but as long as it doesn't rain, I'm happy. And then we'll start to bring some projects together and hopefully, yeah, start to get the boat back up to spec. Um, I've got a few surprises tomorrow on little projects that I'm gonna do with the boat. So yeah, watch this space and I'll see you in the next one.